All right, let's dive straight into the fascinating world of lace wings and their role in the ecosystem. First, lace wings, or to use their scientific name, chrysavid, are a group of insects that are incredibly important for the healthy functioning of our ecosystems, especially within agriculture. Now let's talk about their biology and life cycle. Lace wings are usually pale green or brown, and they are easily identifiable by their large, clear wings, which actually gives them their name. They have a rather intricate and interesting life cycle that can be broadly divided into four stages, egg, larva, pupa, and adult. Lacewing eggs are incredibly distinctive. Females lay their eggs on the underside of leaves. But here's the interesting part. They're not placed directly on the surface. Instead, each egg is delicately positioned at the end of a slender stalk to protect it from predators and even from their own siblings, since lacewing larvae are known to be cannibalistic when food is scarce. <laughs> Talk about survival tactics. Moving on to the larvae stage, Lacewing larvae are voracious predators. They're often described as aphid lions because they have a huge appetite for aphids, but they also feed on a variety of other soft-bodied pests like mites, caterpillars, and insect eggs. They have these hollow sickle-shaped jaws, which they use to inject paralyzing venom into their prey and then suck out their bodily fluids. It's a bit gruesome, but hey, nature isn't always pretty. After a couple of weeks of non-stop eating and growing, the larvae then enter the pupa stage. They spin a silky cocoon, usually in hidden places like under leaves or bark, and inside they undergo a complete transformation to emerge as adults. Adult lace wings, despite their angelic appearance, are also predators, but they're a bit more selective, preferring to feed on nectar, pollen, and honeydew. They live for about a month, and in that time, a female can lay hundreds of eggs, thus completing the life cycle and ensuring the next generation. So, why are these insects so important in the ecosystem? Well, their insatiable appetite for pests makes them crucial for natural pest control. They help keep the population of harmful insects in check, thus maintaining a balanced and healthy ecosystem. But their role extends beyond just pest control. And we'll explore that in our next discussion on how lace wings contribute to pest control in agriculture. Stay tuned. So, we're going to move forward and discuss the types of agricultural pests that lace wings prey on and how this contributes to pest control. As mentioned earlier, lace wings are often referred to as aphid lions, and for good reason. Aphids are one of their favorite meals, and these small insects can be a real headache for farmers as they suck the sap from plants and can transmit diseases. So, lacewings and their role as natural pest controllers are a huge help in managing aphid populations, but aphids are not the only pests on the lacewings menu. They also fancy a good feast on mites and small caterpillars, which are other common agricultural pests. Lacewings are not picky eaters. They'll happily devour a variety of soft-bodied insects, including whiteflies, frips, and even insect eggs. Now let's talk about how lacewings contribute to pest control. Their insatiable appetite for pests, particularly during their larval stage, makes them a very effective method of biological control in agricultural settings. They are what we call generalist predators, meaning they feed on a wide range of insects. This is great for farmers because it means they can control multiple pests at once without the need for harmful chemical pesticides. Just imagine a single lacewing larva can consume up to 200 pests or pest eggs a week. Multiply that by the hundreds of lacewing larvae in a field and you can begin to see how they can contribute significantly to pest control. They also play a role in interrupting the pest life cycle. Remember those insect eggs on the lacewings menu? By preying on these eggs, lacewings can help prevent future generations of pests from hatching and causing damage to crops. And it's not just about what they eat. Adult lacewings 
in their quest for nectar and honeydew also contribute to pollination, which is another way they help support agriculture. For example, so in a nutshell, lacewings are like the unsung heroes of the farming world, doing their part to keep our crops healthy and pest free. But to do this, they need certain conditions to thrive, which we'll be discussing in the next segment. Stick around for that. All right, now we're going to delve into the benefits of lacewings in agriculture and examine how they contribute to crop protection. This is a really interesting topic because it shows just how interconnected the natural world is and how something as seemingly small and insignificant as a lacewing can have a huge impact on our food production. Firstly, as we've already touched upon, lacewings are voracious predators and their preference for aphids, mites, and other soft-bodied pests makes them a natural form of pest control. This is incredibly beneficial for farmers as it reduces the need for chemical pesticides. Not only does this save money, but it also prevents the harmful side effects often associated with these chemicals like soil degradation and water contamination. And let's not forget the environmental benefits. By reducing the reliance on chemical pesticides, lacewings help to preserve biodiversity. They contribute to a healthier and more balanced ecosystem, which is crucial for sustainable agriculture. But that's not all. Lacewings also contribute to crop protection through pollination. Adult lace wings feed on nectar and pollen. And in the process, they help to pollinate the plants. This is a vital part of plant reproduction and can lead to higher crop yields. Another benefit of lace wings is their adaptability. They can thrive in a variety of climates and environments, which means they can be used for pest control in different types of crops in agricultural settings. And finally, lacewings contribute to crop protection by breaking the pest life cycle by preying on pest eggs. They help to control future generations of pests. So in summary, lacewings are a farmer's best friend. They help to control pests, pollinate crops, and contribute to a healthier ecosystem, all of which ultimately leads to better crop protection. But of course, for lacewings to do their job effectively, they need certain conditions to thrive. Which brings us to our next topic. Stay tuned for that. Now, let's shift gears a bit and discuss the conditions necessary for lacewings to thrive and how we can attract and sustain them in agricultural settings. Firstly, it's important to understand that lacewings, like all creatures, need certain conditions to survive and reproduce. Temperature and food, availability, are two critical factors. Lacewings thrive in moderate temperatures and require a steady food source. Remember, lacewing larvae are voracious predators, so a healthy population of pests is actually a good thing, at least for the lacewings. But what about attracting them to your farm or garden in the first place? Well, since adult lacewings feed on nectar, pollen, and honeydew, planting a variety of flowering plants can be an excellent way to attract them. Plants like dill, coriander, and fennel are particularly attractive to lacewings. Further strategies to attract and sustain lacewings involve avoiding heavy use of pesticides, as these can not only kill the pests that lacewings feed on, but also harm the lacewings themselves. Instead, consider using more natural forms of pest control. Or better yet, let the lacewings handle the pests for you. Creating a favorable habitat for lacewings can also help. Providing safe spaces for lacewings to lay their eggs and for larvae to pupate is a good start. This could be in the form of a lacewing house, which is a simple wooden frame filled with corrugated cardboard where lacewings can lay their eggs. Finally, it's worth noting that you can also buy lacewing eggs from commercial suppliers. You can then release these directly in your garden or farm, providing an immediate boost to your lacewing population. So, by creating the right conditions and providing the necessary resources, farmers and gardeners can attract and sustain lacewing populations, turning these beneficial insects into powerful allies in the fight against pests. But what does this mean in terms of crop yield and economics? Well, let's explore that in our next segment. Stay tuned.
All right, now we're going to tackle how lace winds impact overall crop yield and the economic benefits they bring to agriculture. This is where we truly appreciate the role of these tiny warriors in our farms and gardens. First off, by controlling pests naturally, lace wings can significantly reduce crop damage. Fewer pests means healthier plants, and healthier plants generally yield more produce. It's a simple equation, really. By keeping the pest population in check, lace wings allow crops to grow to their full potential and this directly impacts the quantity of the harvest. Now, let's talk about the quality of the produce. Healthy, pest-free plants are likely to produce higher quality fruits, vegetables, grains, or whatever the crop may be. This not only means better tasting food, but also produce that can be sold at a higher price, providing better returns for farmers. Another economic benefit of lace wings comes in the form of cost savings. By relying on lace wings for pest control, farmers can significantly reduce their expenditure on chemical pesticides. Not to mention this natural form of pest control is sustainable and doesn't contribute to the environmental problems associated with synthetic pesticides, like soil and water pollution. And let's not forget the indirect economic benefits by promoting biodiversity and contributing to a healthier, more balanced ecosystem. Lace wings help improve the overall resilience of agricultural systems. This can make farms more resilient to changes and challenges in the future, safeguarding our food supply in the long run. So in conclusion, lace wings may be small, but their impact on agriculture is huge. They improve crop yields, enhance produce quality, save costs on pesticides, and contribute to agricultural resilience, making them truly valuable allies in agriculture. So if you're a farmer or a gardener, it's definitely worth learning more about these beneficial insects and how you can attract them to your land. After all, every little helps in our quest for a more sustainable and productive agricultural system.